again. So nice to see you. Nice to see you. This Good segment, to be here. this segment's going to make people think because we're talking all about sugar. Let's put up uh, the cover of the book and uh, some great recipes for uh, perfect health for the heart, but sugar. Mm -hmm. How much sugar should our body have on a daily basis? Let's start here. The average Canadian, or the average person needs eight to 10 teaspoons of sugar in all of the food that they're eating in order to be stay healthy and stay away from a condition called silent inflammation. That is what creates heart disease, Alzheimer's, rheumatoid arthritis. And by silent, it means it's going on inside your body and you don't know it. So what are the markers? High blood pressure, high cholesterol, high blood sugar, and being overweight. That's how how you know you have the silent inflammation. The average Canadian's getting 37 teaspoons of sugar a wow. day in their foods when we really need eight to 10. And where is it? Okay, so let's start here with the cola. People that love the cola, uh, uh, how much sugar is in one, one can? 10 teaspoons. So your whole day right there? Right there. And you look here, you've got your, your 10 teaspoons of sugar in the pop, and then you've got the candy bars. The potato chips are really amazing. That's like almost 20 teaspoons of sugar here in your, in your potato chips. So just one bag of your average potato chip, you're doubling your sugar. Right, chip. and this is more hidden. This is more hidden sugars because people don't really know how to convert their carbohydrates. This is pretty simple. Yeah. The soda and the candy bar. This is where they're getting a lot of sugar that they're not converting. And I have a formula that if you read the side of a box of pasta chips and you take the carb grams, because we don't relate much to, to, uh, to grams of carbs. And you, if you divide, minus the fiber mm -hmm. from, the, from the carb grams and divide it by five, that'll give you how many teaspoons of sugar is in something you're eating. Like this would be 10 teaspoons of sugar in pasta. So take a look at this pasta dish right here, because if you go to the restaurant, you're getting uh, this and and, uh, probably more in terms of the portion and uh, how, how much sugar in this one again? 10 teaspoons. Ten it teaspoons. converts to 10 teaspoons and this is very hidden. This is where people aren't counting in sugar into their diet and that's why we have the obesity, high cholesterol, high blood pressure because this is part of the reason it's happening. And you make an interesting point about paying attention to the symptoms as well of your gut health and how that impacts your overall health. What, what, what is the correlation here and what are the things to watch well, for? Well si the silent inflammation I'm talking about that leads to the heart disease and chronic disease starts in your gut mm -hmm. and one of the major ways to start reducing the inflammation in the gut is with of course I've talked before about probiotics but also with omega-3s but you have to know the amount of omega-3 in order to reduce the silent inflammation and you need about 3,000 milligrams a day of omega-3 not just fish oil that's where the another uh, reason people have to learn to read their labels and know how much they need to be taking to keep away from these chronic diseases. So and with these omega-3s, if you're taking, I know you can do capsules or the liquid, how much do you recommend from, from the supplement? If you, if this supplement has a thousand milligrams of omega-3 mm -hmm. in each capsule, three a day. Just three capsules, yep. okay. Now here's the example of the good stuff we want to be incorporating in the diet. Take us through this. This is 10 teaspoons of sugar in all of that food. So if, when I'm saying to you, this is 10 teaspoons in the soda, but this is a whole day of eating with only 10 teaspoons of sugar. And what's the entire uh, caloric intake of, of uh, all this? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. You're not going to gain weight on this. So you're just saying focus on the sugar intake. No, I mean, I work, we work with thousands of people, and this is what they eat, and we see the blood pressure come down, the blood sugar come down, we see the, uh, you know, the blood pressure come down eating this way. And uh, your book is all full of all types of recipes. Yes. What can they find in there uh, in terms of some of your favorites for, for easy, oh, easy I, things to start with? I have like all sorts of recipes with fish and greens and soups and stews that they can make. And in each recipe, I have the teaspoons of sugar in each of the uh, serving of each of the recipes. And also in the back, I list all the foods and how many teaspoons of sugar is in each serving of fruits and vegetables so they can very easily count up if you can count to 10, you can do this. Make it easy for us. <laughs> Dr. Brenda Watson right here. We'll put those details uh, on our Facebook page as well. That's the best Twitter handle ever, at Brenda Poop Scoop. Keep it healthy, right? Keep it healthy. Good.